Tinker Cat friends, it is an exciting day. We have now got motors in SimLab. Of course, I've got a tutorial, so let's get crack it. Friends, I've made you a starter. You can actually just visit my website, ahlmodtech.com, and if you click on the HLMT 23 new shares, you can click on the SimLab motor car template. Of course, it is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Now inside the project, you will find a couple of parts to make a very simple car. Choose L for a line. Let's choose center and center. And then take your windshield and move it wherever you want. Finally, take those two parts and do control G to group them. I do like it when multicolors on, so bingo, do that. Now you can make your car body way more fancy, but right now, that is where I'm going to stop so that this tutorial is super quick. Now this tutorial works because this connector now has a motor with torque and RPM speed. Let me show you how we're gonna put this on here. First, I'm going to do C for cruising and I'm gonna just drop it right up here on the front. I'm gonna also click on the tire, hit C for cruising. I'm gonna put it close to it. Now I'm gonna select the car body and I'm gonna lock it. So that means it's not able to be adjusted. So when I grab this, even though it says three shapes, if I do L for a line, make the wheel the boss, when I choose center and center, notice it only moves the tire. Now we can check that out. It is exactly in the middle. I do want to move it away from the car. So I'm going to click on just the tire and move it away. So that way there's no friction. Now we need to connect it to the car body, and the tire. Lastly, we need to pick our motor's torque. I'm going to tell you to start with 50, and then I'm going to do a speed of 25. Of course, I am looking forward to you having fun doing that. Note the animation of the wheel direction and the car direction. Now, because of this being locked, we can grab our motor, do Control D, and when we do shift nudge, even though we selected the car as well, it only moves back. If we click on the axle connector, notice it kept all our settings. We're going to grab those again and do control D. Notice it says five shapes, but it's really only grabbing the wheels and motors. And then I'm going to shift nudge to move them to the other side. Finally, we need to hit mirror to flip it. And if you check that out, it's close. I'm going to just grab them again. Once again, love that because we locked the car body, it is really not grabbed, so it's easy to adjust. Now, if we click this, the motor speed needs to be adjusted or it's going to go in circles. We need to take this side and make it negative 25. Notice how it shows the rotation of the wheel and the direction of the car. Once again, click on this as well and also make it negative 25. Friends, at that point, your car is built. Let's make the world a little larger by clicking on settings, clicking where the 200 was and putting 1,000. Click on the other side, backspace, make it 1,000 as well. And at this point, let's go to SimLab. Notice it takes a moment for the geometry to become real, but at that point, you can hit play and your car drives real motors that you can now check out, have fun, adjust. If we hit reset, we can modify these. If I change this to like negative 10, it'll move that wheel a little bit less fast. And all of a sudden we'll have a design that goes in circles. Let's hit test and see what it looks like. Bingo, we've got a car they would go around and around and around as long as we want. Now, friends, there's so much room for you to test the limits of this. Make them bigger, faster, stronger. Add a ramp, whatever you want. Just remember you hit reset and you can go back here and just have a blast making it more and more epic. I just modified my motors and I'm going to unlock the car body. So now I can move it to a different location. I bumped up the speed and let's quickly check it out with the ramp. Once we get in, we can hit play and bingo, car taking off and not even having enough power to get over. 
Friends, that's why it's so fun. You can hit reset, change these settings, and just have a blast making the car as awesome as you want. Remember, friends, when you're done with your car, I would love to see what you made. Don't forget, it is so simple to share a project. All you do is go back to the Tinkercad desktop, click up here on the gear, change the properties. Of course, give it a name so people can check it out. If you want to add information about the tutorial, that always makes my day. And then if you tag it with HLMT23, friends, I will check out your design and give you a reaction. Finally, make sure you hit public, prove you're not a robot, and then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my work, I'd rather have you come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Of course, friends, after not too long, I will check the HLMT23 tag, and I will give you a reaction. And check it out, here we have awesome projects by Marcel. He's got a working Ferris wheel, and he's got his own cars powered by engines. That's awesome. Of course, friends, I'm looking forward to seeing yours too, and of course, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.